you know, don't do that. Tamara Henry. Hi, Tamara. And Max Worthington here on the red carpet. We want to invite you out to the LA Comedy Awards. And we might have just a little bit something special for you this time. So we got our tickets to the LA Comedy Awards. I'm so excited. Yeah, and, what, and what's this, Max? That's a Mel Gibson's board for last year. Most hilarious television sketch. Mel Gibson. You know, I saw him yes. recently in Whole Foods, and he told me a dirty joke. Just a kid. It's a good way to pick a lady up. And tell her a dirty joke. And speaking of picking ladies up. Single. And speaking of being single, I don't know if you saw me last night on Bravo. Everyone wants it, but not everyone finds it. I make the perfect match. Today's a recruiting session for Brian and David. And since we're doing a small intimate dinner party, I really only need three girls each. For Brian, I'm looking for a Jennifer Aniston type in her 30s. For my chauvinist David, I think after he's met Tori Spelling, I think he's open to a girl with a career. Maybe a creative girl, someone in her late 20s or 30s, kind of like Mila Kunis. You are one f***ing hot mess. Or camel toe could be gone. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh. No, oh. oh that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I missed it. You can see me again tonight at 11 o'clock on Bravo. Congratulations. I know, I'm so excited. Doing my comedy shtick around the world. Yes. And here at the LA Comedy Awards, where we do it best. Yes. Thank you. See you tonight, Max. I hope you don't mind. I have a little breaking news that I wanted to share with you. You're going to be so proud of me. Okay. On my Facebook wall, my friend told me that she saw me on Bravo last night. Congratulations! And so, in case you missed it, it's going to be on again tonight at 11 o'clock when you guys get home. 11 o'clock on Bravo. What's the show? It's Millionaire Matchmaker. What's your boyfriend think of that? Uh, well, I'm single. Yeah. You know, when the IRS asked me to check a box, I mean, there's not one that says it's complicated. <laughs> I have to check. It's I'm single. Hello. Hi. How about you pretend I'm a frog and you kiss me and I, I turn into a prince on that? But uh, you could be my Miss USA. Oh, yeah. Oh. You just tell me when and where and I'll be your Miss USA. Okay, then pretend I'm a frog right now. On this. Okay, give me a kiss. Okay, I'll give anybody five bucks. I'll give you a reward if you get Tamara Henry to make out with me right now. Okay, how about behind the screen? Yeah! You should give him a nice, big, wet one. Come on, think about it. You have to do it for your career! <laughs> yes! Yes! Behind yes. the screen. All right, let's go. Come here. I think I have something for something for you back here. Everybody give you a group hug. hug. Ah. This is the loving family that you get at the LA Comedy yes. Awards. Thanks oh. to the loving Max Worthington. He's got the biggest heart. And we're going to all be seeing him at the big show in February 2012. Yes. Say goodnight, Gracie. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Very good. Very good. This is behind the scenes documentary <laughs> at the LA Comedy Awards. How's everybody doing tonight? I am not a comedian. Do not try this at home. I am a noble documentary filmmaker. <laughs> Behind the scenes at the LA Comedy Awards. How's everybody doing tonight? We're good. Everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's smiling. You're a very happy crowd. So try this at home. I am not a comedian. And I just want to thank Sylvie and Anastasia for coming out tonight to the LA Comedy Awards. What brings you out tonight, Sylvie? Uh, I want to laugh a lot. Um, I think that it's about time that uh, we break things up a little and make uh, things lighter. We need some lightness. There you go. I think that's what's happening with 2012 and the evolution of consciousness. We're becoming light beings. What about you? Well, you're yeah. inviting yeah. us, but also I believe laughter is unbelievable magic.
it, it can cut through any kind of barrier, any kind of negativity. It just, it's, it's a magical thing. It's a magical gift. Woohoo! So we are magicians, we are alchemists, we are warriors, we are healers with the, with the healing power of the whole laughing magic, baby. Only here at the LA Comedy Awards. Normally I have to pay a dollar for that, but tonight it's free. Okay. I, like, I like short men. Alright, well it's only three inches. Most women don't like it that thick. Now that you brought up. Alright, Tammy, here's what we're gonna do. You may have seen this years ago. It's a really old improv technique and where two people tell a story. I'm gonna do the talking. But you stand in back of me and act out what I say with your arms, okay? So come stick your arms through. Yeah, yeah. just stick your arms through underneath, underneath there. Just put them right through. Pull them through. There we go. Ooh, wow, you're really firm. Love it. Okay, now, you want to be expressive. Talk with your hands. Like if I were to say bye-bye, how would you say bye-bye? Very good. So that's what you want to do. Just relax. Loosen up and play with it. It'll be a lot of fun. Okay, there we go. All right. So this morning I was laying in bed sleeping with my hands under the pillow, which was next to my head. Very good. All of a sudden the alarm went off and it scared me and I jumped. Ow. I always scratch myself when I jump like that. So I got up out of bed and I stretched a little bit. And then, of course, I scratched myself. That was pretty safe, but close enough. So I got up and I pulled my shirt on. I pulled my shirt on. Pulled it on. There we go. Just the sleeves. And then I pulled up my pants. And I just left the fly open today. Who's going to notice? And there we go. I got zip, ladies and gentlemen. So I figured I should get ready for the day. So I go in the bathroom, and I pick up my toothbrush, and I put some toothpaste on there. Okay, that's a lot of toothpaste. Then I brush my teeth. Oh, you're really good at that motion. So I'm brushing my whole face and my ears. Who cares? I'm clean on one side of my head. So I finally get done. I put down the toothbrush. And I go walking down the hall, and I'm walking down the hall, I'm walking down the hall. There we go, real dorky like. And I go into the kitchen, and I open up the refrigerator, I take out the pancake mix, and I pour it in the frying pan. There we go. Wow, one big pancake there. And I start cooking the pancake, and I'm cooking it, and I'm watching it burn, and then I flipped it. There we go, big flip, and get another flip, and... I guess we're done. And it's done cooking, so I put it on the plate and I start cutting it up and eating it. Ow! Just push it in place with my hand. And I start cutting it up and I'm just putting it in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Again, comfortable with it motion. All right, all right, all right. I got done eating and I felt really full. Oh, my stomach. Oh, there it is. And I felt like I was going to throw up. You know, it's just like, Bleh. I understand. No, don't do that. I, do that. I really will if you do that. I'm sorry, I'm having more fun than you. <laughs> What's great is when she laughs. <laughs> I got nipple scars on my back. So, they look like that. So I pick up the phone to call the doctor. I pick up the phone and I dialed his number. <laughs> got a big dial and it goes backwards. And, and uh, this is back in the 20s. And the doctor says, well, you sound sick, get down right away. So I hang up the phone. And I'm driving down to the doctor's office on my motorcycle. On my motor, there we go. And as you can see, I'm revving the engine. I'm just sitting in the light, but I'm revving the engine. I take off, and as I'm driving, some guy cuts me off, and I get really angry, and I figure I'll show him how pissed off I am. So I showed him how angry I was. There we go. Good thing I put the elbow into it, otherwise he wouldn't have gotten that. So... I get to the doctor and I screech to a halt, I screech to a halt, I screech to a halt, or, and I made that screech noise when my back wheel, I don't know if you heard that, and I pull my leg out, I'm not sure what the fuck she's doing back there, and then I pull my hands down for no apparent reason, so I go walking in the doctor's office, I'm walking in again, real dirty like, and he says, well I need you to do one thing, I said, what's that, he said, fill up this cup, so I took the cup in my left hand, in my left hand, I went in the bathroom, I unzipped my pants, I took it out and I filled up the cup, <laughs> I think we've gone as far as we need to go with the lovely Tammy. Let's hear it from her. You see that? You see the credit she gave me? The hand was like this. And it was all over here. One more time, let's hear it from the lovely camera.